Well, products and laws, we have uh, like eight different acts, public acts that have been passed to address mercury um, containing products. Two of those law, two of those acts, the legislation went into the Environmental Protection Act, and the rest of them are all separate. So our mercury containing product laws are all separate and not together, which can be very confusing. So for the light and disposal data, I already talked about that a little bit. Uh, you know, our role is enforcement, but being able to do it is another thing. And then for mercury, uh, toys, novelty items, and cosmetics, there are sales meetings on those products also. And again, we have to know that those products are being sold. <clears throat> and cosmetics are a really big issue in the um, uh, Middle Eastern, African American and actually Asian countries also. They think the lighter the skin you are is, is better. So um, I was surprised by having an aunt who's from Japan and she I was asking her about she said, Oh yeah, everybody wants to be white like Americans. And so they use these skin lighting creams and burger, they're very effective at making you lighter, but they also are very toxic and there's been some uh, Recently, some poisonings that they looked at. It is a Chicago Tribune did an article. They went and bought some mercury containing skin lightning creams in some of the in Chicago and documented that. So it, it still is a big concern, but if I would go into one of those types of stores, they know I'm, I'm not. If I asked to buy it, they, they wouldn't give it to me. They said they don't sell it. So as soon as I keep it on the counter, but maybe fair skin, you know, I, I don't need it. So that's another. Issue with the enforcement. Um, the toys and novelty items, uh, the, there's an exception to that if the, if the mercury is the flux of matter, unless it's in air matter, that's banned on using air batteries now. So, um, and we also ban the sale and use of lead um, and mercury weights. This is the only use ban that I'm aware of that we have in the state. Um, and I will be doing site visits on those. Um, when I go out to visit the auto recycling facilities, I'll check and see if they're selling them, uh, reselling them with the tires. Um, there was actually a mercury balancer product out there that a lot of semis use it and motorcycles. Like Carl Davis is about makes the ride smoother, but it's one makes the engine smoother. So again, it's finding those products, especially the, the mercury. But uh, we'll do site visits for those and do enforcement if necessary. And then the mercury vehicle switch, we have the sales van, no new cars can be sold with mercury switch in it. Um, and it requires the manufacturers to have an end of life management plan. So that started in 2006, the manufacturers set up a program to do life vehicle solutions. Other states have required it first, so they already had a set up at the same time they were on national models. So, so we have that program going, and the manufacturers of automobiles are required to reimburse the auto recyclers $2 for every mercury switch light switch they turn in, and $6 for every antelope brake sensor. So, and we, our collection numbers are uh, greater than most of the states. US. So we're sending in numbers because we have, you know, we're always in the top 10 because we have those laws that are the incentives. Um, they like to say the incentives, monetary incentives don't work, but the manufacturers, they definitely do this. And then for uh, our roles, we do, we do outreach every year, send those cards out to them. Um, I send letters to all of them, send their annual report, go out of the site business, and get the data collection, annual collection data back, and I analyze that. See those trends that I'm going to put in, and then um, pursue enforcement. And that one's similar to uh, being able to enforce the not being not crushing a vehicle is hard because if a vehicle's crushed, you're not going to see the, the switch, you know, you can't get to it. So uh, really the only time we're going to do is if, we, if we're there with the questions, we're going to have a problem with the engine. That's, that's very rare. But we'll do enforcement and somebody. And then there's a sales ban on um, mercury containing products for use in classrooms in K through 12 schools. It's like mercury compounds that they use in the chemistry and the, the barometers and the barometers all those things. They can't use them in K through 12 schools anymore. Um, so that's Expanded to include medical and medical 
sales vans. For these products, the only life venue requirement is for those products that receive an exemption. So, so these products basically um, you know, get rid of the person who has them. Is supposed to dispose of them properly as a hazardous waste.
they'll take that. They'll take everything we hear now. They won't tell you that. They won't tell us that. They will take it. So I wouldn't advertise it, but we think we did it. Um, and then, you know, we have to do site visits and maintain website for information. So, um, and then the electronics waste, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with it, but there's the disposal van and the van for manufacturers that didn't register with the state that can sell those products to any school in the state. And then there's penalties actually that they don't impose on long term penalties. So it's kind of similar to our rule to the thermostat laws. We monitor the compliance, we you know, maintain information on the website, do collection rules, and do outreach, um, that kind of thing. So, um, so that's kind of been in Illinois how the products are made. And you know, as more and more manufacturers are being held responsible, or as the more being held responsible, let's take, you know, leave it a little more money in your pockets. It's gradual. And if you may get picking up other wastes, but you know, it, it, it really helps. Um, you know, what's next? These aren't hazardous products, but uh, paint and carpet. I know there's been it has been or will be discussion, so the days about that. So, and then uh, comprehensive products which your legislation isn't on the horizon in Illinois. It's going to dream some states out in the east have, the northeast have that where they that's for you know all products that will be products to which your opportunities for states to develop laws. So, that's my contact with.